He's a rising star in the world of electronic dance music, Julian Jordan. At just 20 years of age, he's already played some of the world's biggest festivals, including the biggest, Tomorrowland. Did you ever expect to have a career as a DJ growing up? Uh, I never expected it. I used to look at like the after movies from Tomorrowland and I was like dreaming of, of playing here and saw the main stage and everything. So I never really thought of it. I was just having fun making music and it just happened. Like it's not that I like focused on it. Like I, I was focusing on my career, but not like that I thought about like, okay, I'm gonna play Tomorrowland, I'm gonna play, play Ultra. I was just like having fun and playing in small clubs and small bars in my hometown. And then all of a sudden it just happened like I was playing big festivals and now I'm still in like the, the moment of that it all just happens and sometimes I need to take a moment of and, and think about like what 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 is happening so just I had that moment in the car where I was thinking I'm on my way to tomorrow and man this is crazy I was watching the after movie just four years ago and I never thought I would play here the Dutch DJ and producer who also happens to be childhood friends with one of the world's biggest DJs Martin Garrix just started his very own record label called Gold Kid Records. A natural step perhaps for a young producer in 2016. The label I, I started, it's it's something new for me, but I really wanted to start it to um, have like total freedom in my music, just to release everything that I want and to create like a platform that I can just share everything with my fans and that I can make like, I don't know, hip hop tomorrow and, and release it on my own label. So I just created like kind of like a totally total freedom for myself. With that in mind, he created his own label so he can capitalize on the popularity of streaming services and own his own music. He's just released a new song called Profit. thought about like how to look at things in a new way just release everything on on immediately and and give them total access to your tracks and put them on Spotify immediately because it really works people are always ask me when it's coming online on iTunes when is it coming on Spotify and it's I'm always like yeah you need to wait you need to wait but now it's like everything immediately it's they have access already and it works really well Armin van Buren is another DJ who cites the importance of owning his own music he has been in the business for nearly as long as Jordan has been alive and has been voted world's best DJ five times. I think music copyrights are good investments, definitely. I mean, that's something that I've put all my money into, copyrights. I started Armada Music, Cloud9 Music, and copyrights, whether it's in dance music or pop music, uh, publishing rights are, are still worth a lot. But for Julian Jordan, who's starting to become a star in his own right, he says the fame is still all a bit overwhelming. Still weird because I, I used to just be a normal kid. I'm still a normal kid, you know, and I'm, I still think it's it's a little bit weird. But it's all good. It's it's really good to see that that I I always was the kid that was looking up to Chesto, like all those people, and now they are just close people, like friend, almost friends. Yeah, and now I'm just seeing what these people go through. Like they see a, an artist that they look up to, so. And I want to inspire people as well, so it really feels feels amazing for me. Phil Hahn, CNBC, at Tomorrowland in Belgium. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.